Hello everybody. Today I will show you the tutorial how to connect the Pimax Crystal um, with the wonderful index controllers. So what do you need? Um, of course you need the, the index controllers. Pimax Crystal of course. You will need at least one base station and I got the uh, second base station right here. So um, if you're not familiar with, with the Lighthouse tracking at all, um, there are tons of tutorials and also well did a very good job to show how to install the, the Lighthouse tracking. So I'm not going into that. Um, yeah. So what you also need are two of these bad boys. These are Valve uh, a Vive Tracker from HTC. So they're basically just uh, Bluetooth dongle, dongles. And those are, these are the HTC dongles. Um, there are also uh, Tundra, Tundra trackers and I guess some third party uh, you have to 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 um, look for yourself. I will um, give a link in the description, and yeah, basically you're good to go. There is a second way with uh, with a wife tracker. So I didn't try the the second method. Uh, the first method with just the two Bluetooth dongles went fine, but. I ordered a Wife 3.0 tracker, so I will also try the, the second method. And yeah, so I guess this is everything you need uh, in, in terms of hardware. Coffee. You always need coffee. So, I will start with the tutorial now. Uh, <clears throat> first you need the OpenVR Space Calibrator. The link uh, you will find in the description. Uh, also it's for, for every um, website I'm using, uh, you will find it in the description. So. Just follow the, the, the download instruction. So it's pretty easy if you know what to do. Uh, you click on the, on, the, on the link and you download the OpenVR Space Calibrator EXE. So you will get this uh, notification that it's not a safe, uh, that it's not safe to download. So if you click on keep and on keep anyway so you will get the exe so i already downloaded the, the, the file this is the first program and then it is really important to read the description so you have to change the original exe file so how you do that? It's it's basically um, the OpenVR Space Calibrator point exe. Um, it's located in the Prographize OpenVR Space Calibrator, and so how do we get the the the, uh, the file under the um, folder releases? There is OpenVR Space Calibrator exe. So you just download the file. Basically the same. You have to keep the file and also keep it anyway. So that's the first two files you need. And then I don't know if it's necessary, but first it didn't work and uh, it didn't work and then I uh, installed the OpenVR Advanced 
settings and then everything went fine. So my recommendation is to install also the advanced settings. So it is the same, just click on advanced settings, download the file and after everything is done you should get the open space calibrator oh sorry my mistake open space calibrator okay so basically you will get three files so I don't have to explain you how to install the, the, the open VR space calibrator and also the advanced settings this is pretty standard so um, let's see if I yeah I get the message it's already installed so um, if I click OK yeah this is the typical installation process so this went pretty easily so there's uh, no need to do anything so but what's really important is first of all uh, everything should be closed uh, no Pimax software or Steam VR or whatsoever should be running in the background so best of all start your computer and if you have Steam in auto start or Pimax in auto start uh, please shut down the, the, um, the task so um, now for the um, overwriting the file open VR space calibrator so the file is located in uh, program files and then you will see the folder open VR space calibrator and there is already an existing uh, exe file and you have to replace the file so click on continue so now you're good to go um, you will uh, if you want to to see why uh, you have to change the file it's because of the um, Pimax uh, software and and yeah basically uh, now the the open space calibrator recognize also the Pimax crystal and yeah that's that's the I guess that's in in uh, short terms why why you have to change the file so okay I started Steam VR and don't start the Pimax software or any other HMD software then right now I plugged in one of the dongles with an extension cable and the second dongle um, just on the USB port and you should use 2.0 USB ports I don't know if 3.0 is working uh, I didn't try it because in the explanation it's like uh, it's with uh, 2.0 so then the problem is I already um, paired the controllers so um, you have to open Steam VR and then go to devices and pair controller so then you should see this uh, menu and uh, of course we are going to choose the Valve Index controller and then you will get the information to um, press the V button and the system button so it's basically self-explaining and this should work so it is important when you do this with the first controller before you um, before you um, start the, the, the pairing process it is important that you plug out one of the USB dongles so that the first USB is um, the first dongle is connected for example with the left controller and the second dongle is connected with the with the right controller so once you've finished the pairing you can plug in both Bluetooth dongles again 
but I guess this is the only um, error you can make. So if Maybe it's 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 working fine if you um, connect both uh, controllers right away. I don't know, but um, I did it this way, and it uh, also um, years ago with the G2 this went um, perfect. So um, right now it should be working fine. So I already paired the controller, so I will um, just switch them on. I don't know if this is recording, so I switch them on. And yeah, green light, that means they are connected. And so now if I um, also start my base stations, so also the next step is very important. The Pimax crystal controllers, they will um, react immediately if you just touch them or if the um, HMD will see the controllers. So it is important put your Pimax controllers somewhere uh, far away from the, from the HMD or just in a cupboard or something. But um, the, the big problem was the index controllers and the Pimax controllers, they're fighting each other. So um, that was the mistake why it took me like the whole day to get this uh, running because uh, with the G2, it was basically just um, a plug in the controllers or, or just a, a pair the controllers and then you were nearly good to go. And that's the um, difference between uh, connecting the crystal with the Pimax, con uh, with the uh, Knuckles controllers. So um, yeah, what is the next step? Like I said, uh, the crystal controllers, they should be somewhere safe. And now we're starting the Pimax software. So after starting the Pimax software, You go under device settings and you should switch from inside out to lighthouse. And there is also the screen off time. So you should go with never because Sometimes when the um, uh, HMD is shutting off, you have to, maybe you have to calibrate it again. So I just tried it a few times, it went fine. So I uh, needed to calibrate the, the controllers just one time. Um, but uh, one of the users told me leave it on never and then it should be good to go. So, okay, um, as you can see, this went fine, so the, the index controllers are tracked, the base stations are tracked. Um, so this should, should also be the second base station. Yeah, so this is basically what you want. Now we have the, the tracking uh, problem because the HMD has a tracking problem. Uh, um, coordinate uh, coordinate system and uh, the controllers have uh, uh, the same or a different um, coordinate system. So how you can uh, how we can achieve to um, get both of the trackings together? Um, it's pretty easy if you know what to do. So. So the next thing is you have your um, open space VR, uh, open VR space calibrator app. You will see the Pimax crystal. You will see the left knuckle and the right knuckle. And um, for the calibration speed, I use slow. So right now, if um, if I take my crystal, then you see the. Steam VR environment and somewhere in this room there should be the knuckles controller. So the thing is we have to sync the um, the coordinate 
system, the coordinate system from the index controllers with the um, crystal uh, coordinate system. So yesterday I um, put on the headset and I took one controller and start the calibration. Today uh, I will try if it's possible just to use uh, one of the controllers so you should <laughs> you should so um, okay this should work so uh, make sure that you don't um, uh, move the controller uh, or the, the, the crystal f uh, away from each other and start calibration. So you have to use your mouse because you don't have controllers to start the calibration process in VR. So uh, be sure to um, use the right controller. So I have chosen the right knuckle controller and it's also the right controller here. So don't be stupid. So uh, start calibration. Yeah, I will do a thing like this. And normally the controllers should fly to the headset now. And there they are. So do you see this? This went pretty smooth. So that's basically everything you need to do. So um, just a second, I will grab the second controller and there is the second controller as you can see. So basically, yeah, the finger tracking is working. So um, that's everything. So um, I will give it uh, another go and uh, try. Uh, so this was pretty easy because um, I I, um, I deleted the whole tracking process and I did the calibration ch just with you uh, right now with you guys. So um, I don't think the, the, the software update or anything will will um, destroy the the whole process. But you never know. So Pimax is updating the software like uh, every week. So one of the users asked me why to wait for the the, the faceplate, so or the lighthouse faceplate. So um, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Um, you have to pay uh, nearly 100 euros for the for the Bluetooth dongles. And so nobody can uh, guarantee that this will work in the future. So right now um, this is working, but maybe with the next uh, firmware update or with the next beta update or what whatsoever, maybe uh, it is destroyed and you can't use your controllers anymore. So definitely wait for the for the lighthouse faceplate if you don't want to tinker. But um, this is the proof the solution is working. And there is also a second solution with uh, one, uh, one, one, one uh, wife tracker on the HMD. You can like glue the wife tracker to the HMD and then the tracking should be uh, improved and there shouldn't be a loss of tracking. So. I hope I don't for, uh, uh, missed anything. If you have problems with the with the installation or with with the whole uh, setup process, uh, please let me know. I will try my best. So I'm no expert. Uh, the experts are um, the people I mentioned in the other video, but I will mention them in the in the uh, comment section or in the in the description. So yeah, basically, congratulations, you did it. You own a crystal with Lighthouse and uh, Index controllers. You're the champion. So I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, thank you and see you next time. Bye.